Hi, I'm Mr. Fred, and in this overview, we're going to talk about this device here. This is called the Retro, and I'm going to show you how you could use this to connect to Microsoft MakeCode Arcade, where you could build a game and then push it out to this handheld device and play it like a regular handheld video game device. So we'll talk about its pros and its cons, how easy it is to use. Well, let's just get started and have a little bit of fun. All right, so let's take a look here now at the Retro Arcade for Education. When you open up the box, you're going to see that it also has on the back a quick start guide where it takes you through some quick steps to get you up and running. It includes all the devices and connectors that you're going to need, and you can look up the user guide, but I provide you further guidance on the GetMeCoding.com website. Immediately when you open it up, you can see that it's relatively small, but it's got a really big display. It also includes this really neat package of Lego pieces that you can connect to the back of the retro. It kind of makes it a little bit more personalized. When you take it out, you could also see that it has its own USB cable, perfect for connecting from your computer to the device itself, because that's how you're gonna push the code from Microsoft Game Arcade to the device. So here it is, it's a small form factor, but it feels good in the hand, and the display, like I said, is really big, the buttons are responsive, and it feels a lot like a Nintendo Game Boy. So now, when you look at this here, you're gonna be thinking, where do I get the information to begin to interact with it? Let's take a look at that. When you come out to the electfreaks.com website, you can see that it's a store that provides a number of STEM or STEAM oriented devices that go really well with some of these coding platforms. So when I came out here, I did quickly glance at the site and I saw some of the folks that are involved with it. And then down here in the bestseller section, you can see that the Make Code Arcade for Education device that we're going to be using here, the Retro, is available. So you can click on it, and of course, it's going to take you out to the Buy Now uh, area where you could purchase it. But as you quickly scroll down, you can see that there's you know uh, a video, much like what we're going to be producing here, and then also some other information. You could also see from some of the photos that one of the things they look to do is make the device even more fun by extending it with some Lego building blocks. And you could see them here. And also in the, uh, the beginning of the video, you saw them in the bag uh, there you could assemble. So here are some other in, uh, interesting photos where you could attach these bricks right to the back of your device. Now I think that does open up some other neat ways to get creative. Uh, if you have a fuller Lego set, and I encourage anybody to kind of take a look at that. So let's take a look at what we're going to do now to push our game out to the retro. So you're going to start off by removing the USB cord, unraveling it, of course, connecting it to the bottom of the retro, and then taking the other end and then plug it into your computing device and you'll be ready to push your code. So now here I'm in a, an example game that I quickly built and you can come into the download button here and then you're going to select your hardware choose hardware, and you'll be then presented with a number of options that you could pick from. And you can see that there's a number of devices, but we're looking for the retro. We'll click on the retro. And we could see a couple different things starting to happen here. Once you're in here, connect arcade to your computer, select the device in the pairing dialog, press connect. Now it's prompting you to authorize the connection. You can select it, Click connect. Once your device is connected, you're gonna see that you could then download it. You'll notice that the little icon here is representing the connection via the USB cord. Click download. It'll then connect to your device. And once it's established the connection, it'll then begin to download the file to the device. Take a look at your device, and then you'll be able to play your game. If at any time you want to change the connection with your device, it's easy to do. So for example, maybe you want to switch devices, or you're just having a little bit of a problem connecting to the device or making sure that it's connected. You can come up here to your search block here where your URL is going to be, or your web address, and click on the padlock and view the site information. When you click that, you're gonna notice that there is a connection established and it is the arcade. And you'll come over to the right and notice there's an icon that says revoke access. Simply click that and it's now disconnected from your device, which allows you then to come back and then go through the same steps that we went through before 
to reconnect. So all in all, this is a great little device that'll really be fun to have either if you're learning to code at home or if you're doing it in the classroom. Some of the things that I really liked about it was the, the simplicity of it. If you have a Microsoft MakeCode account, you can go out there, build your game or use someone else's out there and then download it or push it to your device via, via USB cable and it is pretty easy. If the instructions are a little confusing, I provided these steps a little bit um, differently in the comments and also is available on the getmecoding.com website. What do I really like about this is the fact that devices are now available, they're not very expensive, that allow a young person or anybody beginning to learn how to code to actually put games in people's hands other than sitting at a computer screen. That really is empowering and it's a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, if you're a young person and you really want to impress somebody or like your grandparents or your family or whomever, you build a game, put it on here, and then you put it into their hands. That's one of those life changing moments. That's very inspirational. I also really, really do love the fact that these devices allow your imagination and creativity to be unleashed. So I wish you best of luck. I think it's a cool device. Check out their website. And then let me know in the comments how you make out with it or if you use it and what your thoughts are. Talk to you soon. I can go play my game. Ooh. I think I made it too hard. I definitely made it too hard. <laughs> See you later.